hello everyone um welcome to my breckenridge vlog i was able to kind of get like bits and pieces of the trip um i was kicking myself for not buying a gopro a new gopro before i left because some of the views on the mountains and just getting footage um at the elevation we were and just taking some of the trails we took would have been so phenomenal to add but there's always next time i did my best to get um kind of on mountain um footage on my phone so this is kind of going to be like a compilation of it all um so bear with me but i hope you guys enjoy good morning we are just through security on the road to colorado So if you're interested in all of kind of the nitty gritty logistics of traveling out west um, with all your own equipment uh, to the mountain, it is quite the um, journey, we'll say. Starting off with the transportation, um, I'm sure it's pretty standard across like all major airports but it's pretty expensive to leave your car at an airport like to drive in yourself and leave your car in long-term parking so um i luckily live close to a bus line so i was able to take the bus into the airport with alec and my best friend tara um so we all parked at the bus stop and took the bus in from Portsmouth, New Hampshire to Boston, Massachusetts for um, our flight was at a Logan Airport. Um, and then it's pretty easy just to hop on the plane from there. There's not any additional transportation necessary. But then when we land in Denver, 
we had to take another bus to the Airbnb. So the Denver airport, unfortunately, is kind of a hike from a lot of the ski resorts. Um, so it was average to be like a two to two and a half hour drive from the airport to the ski mountain of Breckenridge. Um, that's where we went and stayed, so I'm not quite sure what other um, resorts kind of offer for transportation and um, the distance, if it's like any more doable. Um, I know Vail um is also out there i don't know if that was any closer and then there's a couple other smaller mountains out there um but yeah unfortunately breckenridge itself we couldn't find any kind of like mountain transportation that they um like shuttled people or even to pay um for the mountain to come get you from the airport and bring you in we didn't stay at a mountain resort so maybe that's why we stayed at a private airbnb that was slope side which was phenomenal so it took quite a bit of research to kind of figure out how we were going to get from the airport to the airbnb um we luckily had quite a few um, recommendations and knew quite a few people who had kind of made the adventure out there themselves um and we debated, you know, renting a car versus hiring um, kind of like a limo service or trying to take like public transportation. Um, and the only reason why I made a face saying that is because trying to take public transportation, even just from Portsmouth to Boston for the um, airport with all of the bags we had was such a hassle. So I couldn't have even imagined getting off a plane and then lugging everything back onto public transportation to lug back to the airbnb i don't know it was just it's quite the haul like talking about quite the haul i like to think that we planned and executed getting all of our stuff there as best as possible um we flew united um, it seemed like that was one of the main airlines that flew into Denver. Um, so we got a really cheap flight and um, everyone had their own small carry-on uh, luggage. We bought a travel bag um, on, Am I bought mine on Amazon. My mom was able to find one at like an anytime sports store. So like a used sporting store, she found a travel bag, um, which was ideal because I think she got it for like $30 and um, the cheapest one I found on Amazon was $150 so we went ahead and bought that um, but the good thing is you are able to fit um, two pairs of skis at least and then Alec and I were able to put each of our snowboards and bindings in the travel bag. Um, Alec had to take off his bindings which was a little inconvenient, but his board's bigger, so he put his board flat, and then I put mine right on top of his, and then he put his bindings kind of right in the middle of where my bindings were in the bag. Um, in that bag, we wrapped our ski pants and ski coats around the board for extra padding. Um, we were also able to stuff like some base layers, um, mittens, and our hoods that go over our helmets. Um, in that bag and we put one pair of our boots in that bag um, So getting back to kind of the checked baggage um, At least with United your first bag is $35 um, if it's a special item like a ski bag um, It's still $35. It has to weigh less than 50 pounds, which was a little bit of a struggle surprisingly um, And that includes as one checked bag unit for $35 it includes in a separate boot bag which was great so um pretty much I had my boot bag packed up to the max with boots both of our helmets goggles um once again any kind of base layers that we could fit in there like we were stuffing base layers and socks into our boots like any little open crevice that we could put stuff in we were putting in the checked baggage so we'd have more room for our clothing and just like everyday stuff in our actual luggage um so that was good and we got to the airport and our bag was a little overweight so we were able to kind of stuff things elsewhere luckily alec packs so light so i was able to stuff quite a bit of my stuff in his suitcase that we were carrying on 
um, but they checked our bags no problem for $35 which was great everything arrived in one piece and it was good um, so back to the transportation we landed in Denver and we hired um, a like sprinter van um, so we reserved that and they met us at the terminal super super nice it was through um, Denver Airport car service so um, a pretty standard had great reviews um, they had a ton of different vehicle options so there was six of us it was me my best friend Tara Alec my mom my brother and then my aunt my mom's sister um, so six people plus there were four ski bags and ski uh, boot bags and then four um, luggage suitcases so we had a ton of stuff so we ordered we reserved the sprinter van um, only about three weeks in advance so it wasn't something too too extensive that we had to like plan out with the um, excuse me flight right away we had plenty of time to kind of figure out what we were going to go for that or renting a car um, and they had plenty available they were super accommodating so um, definitely have time to um, consult and figure out what works best for you but it was super nice super easy they loaded everything into the van we got to relax in this like big party bus um, and they had like waters and the driver was so nice he actually let us stop and get groceries before we got to the Airbnb um, overall great experience with um, Denver airport car service i'll link the exact um business name down below because i'm probably butchering it so part of the decision in not renting a car was because um our condo was super close to town so the town consists of just one main road it's called main street um it comprises of all kinds of different boutiques restaurants bars um sporting stores uh ski rentals goggle stores like everything you would need right there um quite a bit of people were always like walking around and it was a pretty busy little area um people would come right off the mountain and like walk through the village to the town so people would have their skis and boards it was so funny like i know around here where i live we're really close to the beach so some little shops like near the beach will say like shirt and shoes required um which i don't know if that makes any sense to anyone um but makes sense to me like you would just walk off the beach into like a package store or like a smoothie shop um but these stores said like no ski boots and ski equipment which was funny um i can't imagine like walking through lululemon with ski boots in your skis um there was a lululemon so that was funny um but yeah, we probably went downtown to the main village uh, every day after skiing. So we would check it out, whether it be shopping, grab a quick drink and app, because we really just wanted to embrace like both experiences. Um, some people travel up to the mountains just to visit the little shops and boutiques in the mountain um, on Main Street. So we definitely wanted to um, do the best of both worlds and um, ski and walk there it was about a 10 minute walk from our condo um we were our condo was right off snowflake lift um that probably doesn't mean a whole lot to any of you but if you are researching and going it will make sense if you have been you probably will know of snowflake lift um it was off peak nine so um i would say we spent most of our time at peak seven and eight um those are kind of the most popular one video kind of um that i got to record on my phone of us outside a lodge was at peak seven um there was like an amazing apres ski vibe one day it was monday actually martin luther king day um they hired a dj and it was so fun we spent like two hours out there just like drinking having a time with the dj it was a blast um so i would definitely say those are like some of the busiest peaks um it was just like i said very um tourist friendly and really involved and just a good time so i'm assuming that's why they were the busiest um we went over to peak seven and did a couple bowls i mean sorry peak six and did a couple bowls over at peak six um my brother and alec ventured out to some of the bigger bowls i believe 
off peak seven and eight. Um, I want to say it was the Imperial lift that took them all the way up there or maybe the T-bar. Once again, this might not mean anything to you, but they did some of the big, big double black diamonds like in the center of mountain, um, which was phenomenal for them. I really had no desire to do that. And turns out that the T-bar was actually super, super inconvenient for a snowboarder anyway. Um, so I let Alec figure that one out for me. Thank you, Alec. Um, but yeah, overall had a great time. The snow was phenomenal. The conditions were insane. Um, came home to no snow. So uh, definitely wishing we were back out there and it was a casual two hour drive um, to get the snow like they had. It was insane. I'm sick of babbling and I'm sure you're sick of listening if you've even made it this far. Um, but I hope that information was helpful. Um, if you have any additional questions or anything that I didn't possibly touch on, please feel free to comment below. Um, I have all my socials down below, so feel free to follow me on Insta. I have my TikTok down there as well, which is always so fun. Um, but yes, I'm hoping to kind of be here more frequently for you guys this year. I um, made a promise to myself that I need to be far more consistent than I have been any time recently. So um, hopefully I'll be talking to you guys very soon and um, I can't wait to see you again. Bye.